Hello, my name is Ruth Grigg from Dyslexia Services, and today we're looking at grammar again. And today we're looking at pronouns. So pronouns are words we use in place of nouns and mostly in place of names, so that we don't have to keep repeating the same noun or the same name over and over again. So let's have a look at an example of this. Ella walked home, full stop. Ella saw her mum, full stop. Ella and Ella's mum watched a film. That's what the sentences would sound like if you don't put pronouns in. Is this name Ella is mentioned too many times. So let's look at a better way of doing it, putting some pronouns in. So here we go. Ella walked home, full stop. So it's all right to put her name at the beginning so we know who we're talking about. And instead of saying Ella again, we say she saw her mum. So she is a pronoun. Instead of saying Ella and Ella's mum watched a film, we say they. So that's a pronoun. They watched a film. So that makes a lot more sense than this one does. And it's not repeated again and again. Let's look at a few more pronouns. This and you. This, meaning the present, is for you. If you said that in for, you would probably say this present is for Layla, whatever her name is, instead of saying you. Wouldn't really make a lot of sense. This is far better, isn't it? So this and you are pronouns. We is a pronoun. We, here we are, had a party to celebrate our anniversary. It was wonderful. If we didn't say we, we would end up saying everybody's name that was at the party. Um, and we don't really need to do that, do we? So let's say we instead of everybody's name in a list. And then it, because you're talking about the same thing, you're talking about the party. It was wonderful. So we here we have a boy on a bike. It says, I am riding my bike. It is great fun. So I, instead of saying your name all the time, you say I. I am riding my bike. It is referring to the bike. It is great fun. Uh, let's have a look at this one. Layla and Leo are our children. These two here. They are always laughing. So instead of saying Layla, Layla, sorry, and Leo are our children, Layla and Leo are always laughing. It's far easier and better to say they. So let's look at different types of pronoun. We're not going to go through all of these. You can look at these on your own. The one I'm going to look at more are these. So you can see there are different kinds. So it's personal pronouns, possessive, relative, indefinite, reflexive pronouns, interrogative, program pronouns and demonstrative pronouns these are the ones we tend to use the most personal pronouns so you'd say i i went to the shop instead of say my name ruth went to the shop me we us you he she him her it they them so try to remember to use these pronouns when you're writing about the same person, okay? Or the same people. So you don't have to keep repeating their name. These are possessive pronouns. That means things that belong to you. So you say mine, ours, yours, his, hers, it's, theirs. So I could say, I bought a new bike, it was mine. 
say, it belongs to me, mine. For myself and Paul bought a bike. It was ours. It belongs to two of us. Yes, I think you get the meaning. Relative pronouns, that, which, who, whom, whose. And you've got all of these as well. We use these all the time. Demonstrative, this, that, these, those. Interrogative pronouns. I use these all the time. I think everyone does. How, what, when, where, who, whom, whose, why. And then they have this group here, reflexive pronouns, myself, ourselves, yourself, yourselves, himself, herself, itself, themselves. And then these, these can be referred to yourself or referred to a group of people, and you can use them at any time. Indefinite pronouns. Anybody, anyone, anything, everybody, everyone, everything, nobody, no one, nothing, somebody, someone, something. So, shall we have a go? Well, I think it would be good for you to have a go at writing at least, say, two from this one, writing a few sentences and including those. Maybe you could write one sentence including one of these, another sentence including one of those, another sentence including a how, what, why, where, or whom, another one including the reflexive pronouns, and another one indefinite pronouns. So just have a practice. You don't need to remember what these pronouns are all called, but just know that they are pronouns and know how to use them. There are going to be some other activities you can do and games you can play. So I really hope that you have a go at doing this. I'll see you in the next video.